Roland Willard's old men stories. <laughs> and I'm here at Jamie White's place. And I did not hear. It's is it, it it's a studio, but what is it? Is it got an official name? Palm Tree Studios. Palm Tree Studios. We have a palm tree right up next to us here. I'm scared. And uh <laughs> Jamie, yeah, we're we're sitting in Nashville, and Jamie, Jamie just she 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 thinks that that she should be by palm trees, but she lived in Florida, uh, down the Keys for a while, and, there, and came back. So we have we have some I have some history with Jamie about palm trees and beaches. Um, we we're both songwriters, and in, in the natural form of thing, we're kind of like competitive, and uh, but Jamie likes likes to talk about. Sand and palm trees right. and margaritas and <laughs> tequila. Yes, and I always, a lot I, of her song when we first met, I used to give her a, a lot of uh, BS about that. You know, come on, write about something different. <laughs> but that's what's on your brain. That's what you that you got to do it while it's there. So I think what about this know. song? This song, um, when I work, is that was actually uh, started with a saying that I had. You know, when you're just talking to people, and I used to say this for probably 10 years, and uh, like, what do you do when you work? I said, well, when I work, I play, because I'm a professional musician. That's right. And that's what we do, and I work at it. Every, you know, it's 40 hours a week for me to keep the chops up and everything and, and put on a professional uh, performance. It takes 30 or 40 hours practice a week. Uh, once you're out gigging and playing, 40 hours a week. You know? That's right. So, um, and finally I said, man, I gotta write that song. So I did. Then you sit down and you got, hey, there's a lot of parts to a song. There are. You, first of all, first of all, it has to be sort of an idea. Do you write it down or just start singing it and then try to remember what you said? Well, <laughs> I, you know, it, it varies. I mean, now my cycle is very often I have an idea, but I sit down and I'm looking for a chord progression that will lead me to a melody, which will, uh, in turn, um, direct the form of the lyrics. In other words, okay. the meter, you know, if, if you don't have some kind of music and structure, you can't necessarily structure the lyrics to fit the music. And with a rock background, that's a lot of riff-based writing in rock and roll, so I did that for many years, so I'm kind of geared towards that but so many times it's like this song this particular song when I work started out, when I work I play and I had that and I'm like uh C G all right well let's see where it goes from there you know and so this one is, is one of those ones that we kind of all worked was written as it went oh okay you know I mean sometimes the songs write themselves I've heard that from a, 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 a lot of a lot of artists. Well, the for me, the melody is very tied up with the emotion and the energy behind the song. So you know, I mean, I just, I just, you know, like I said, the first thing that popped in my head was this really robust. When I work, I play. You know, I just, could, I just mm -hmm. felt it that way. So right there was a chorus. I knew that had to be the chorus, and. Uh, and I'm like, well, what am I doing? Oh, I'm strumming this guitar every day, you know, writing those songs you hear on the radio. Well, I, well, right. I hope you do. That's I hope right. You yeah, do. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, it it led me to the song. It just sort of you know pulled you pulled you along and brought yeah. me right into it. And then and that was a chorus. It was a chorus opening song, which is kind of most people don't do that. And I just was like, no, nah, I got to put this chorus out there because it just grabs you. I said, well, what am I going to talk about now, you know? And, and then, yeah, okay. And then, and you, then you pull in the guts. Then, yeah, then I drop back to the verse. And I'm like, hey, 5 a.m. is bedtime and noon is the crack of dawn. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Because when I work, I play. It's music. And, like, you know. and, and musicians have a tendency to be nighttime people. Absolutely. My wife says I'm part vampire, and it's not because of the biting. Um, <laughs> 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 I don't bite much. Um, but, uh, yeah, she says I must be part vampire because I don't come, I don't, I don't come out, I come out, I don't want to come out at night. <laughs> yeah, this is actually early morning to me. 
like, oh, it is. This is this is the start of the day, and it. Yes. And I see the sun is starting to go down here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've had we had to move and open, up, and open up the shades here to get a little more light in because we and because it was getting a little dark. That's right. Okay, That's right. so wow. So introduce your song. Oh, okay. The song is called "When I Work," and technically, it's "When I Work, I Play." And it's dedicated to every songwriter out there, every musician out there, every someone, anybody in the music business understands what I mean when I say when I work, I play. So here it is. <laughs> 